surrounded by the ancient seas of the world. A peninsula straddling two continents in the east and west. A passage uniting north and south. Motherland to 36 known civilizations, including Hittites, Phrygians, Lydians, Trojans, Romans, Byzantines, Seljuks, and Ottomans. A center of innovation since time immemorial. The first international treaty to be signed. The first coins to change hands. The first temple to be worshipped in. And the first hospital to cure a patient. All originated in this region. Trade through the silk and spice roads left its mark on this land. It was a birthplace for Abraham, a sanctuary for early Christians, and a home to Rumi, the Sufi mystic. Turkey. Born as a democratic, secular, and constitutional republic under the leadership of Ataturk, modern Turkey was founded on values ahead of its time. Women gained the right to vote and to be elected for government in 1934, many years before it was common practice in the West. In less than a century, Turkey has given rise to many influential artists, musicians, writers, poets, directors, scholars, scientists, and athletes. It has a young population of 74 million people, 60% of which are below the age of 35. The people of Turkey are well educated and highly skilled, giving the country great prospects in terms of future economic development. As of the first half of 2011, Turkey is the 16th largest economy in the world and the 6th largest in Europe, with a rapid development rate of 9%. According to the UN's World Investment Report, Turkey is one of the top 15 destinations for foreign direct investment. As a well-established and continuously growing industry, tourism plays a vital role in the economic development. The geography and history of the country create a wide spectrum of activities and experiences. In the western extremity of Turkey, where the Silk Road meets the Aegean, lies the western port of Anatolia, a cultural capital and a trade center that dates back 8,500 years. Herodotus claimed that it has the best climate and the most beautiful sky in the world. Victor Hugo called it a princess. This is Izmir. In the 5th century BC, Darius the Great built the famous 2,700 kilometer long Persian royal road to reach this city. The temple, built in 356 BC for the goddess Artemis, became one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Saint John wrote one of the four gospels of Christianity in Iasluk Hill. In 135 AD, the son of Celsus built a library consisting of over 12,000 scrolls and named it for his father, a scholarly governor known for his passion for knowledge, science, and arts. The most important healing center of the 4th century BC, 
named after the ancient god of medicine and healing, Asclepius, was built here in Pergamon. The fame of Izmir's thermals, hot water mud baths, and mineral springs date back to 5th century BC. King Agamemnon used them to treat his wounded soldiers. Today, these thermal centers are popular destinations, not only for those in search of better health, but for anyone who wants to be pampered. Nature lovers flock to Izmir, which is home to the globally renowned bird paradise, a national park with striking biodiversity. The Geddes Delta is considered as one of the world's most remarkable natural areas, an open-air museum with breathtaking landscapes, with exquisite beaches and natural bays covering a coastal belt of more than 600 kilometers around Cheshme, Alachatu, and Focha, Izmir fascinates sailing enthusiasts and cruise ships. Alachatu has excellent atmospheric conditions, attracting windsurfers from all over the world. Contained along these coasts are many blue flag beaches, a testament to Izmir's commitment to protecting the natural environment. The city is a major tourist destination, hosting many international hotel chains. Developments are underway to increase Izmir's ability to accommodate tourists by more than eightfold in 2020. Situated between Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, the Aegean region is equipped with a network of international quality highways and the nation's largest railway network. Izmir is the highest rated city in Turkey in quality of life and environmental friendliness. Its modern Mediterranean character, cultural diversity, open-minded outlook, and fun-loving people make it an ideal place to live or visit. In fact, after Istanbul, Izmir is the city of choice for many foreign nationals. The abundance of social and cultural activities makes Izmir a year-round attraction. It's the venue for international fairs, exhibitions, festivals, and events, including the International Izmir Festival, Izmir European Jazz Festival, Izmir International Film Festival, International Marble Fair, and Organic Products Fair. Most importantly, for the past 80 years, the city has successfully hosted the annual Izmir International Fair, the oldest in modern Turkey. It's the unique combination of rich history, friendly people, vibrant social life, cultural heritage, and natural beauty that gives Izmir its reputation as the pearl of the Aegean. But the city's true significance lies even beyond these qualities. Izmir is the third key driver in Turkey's economic growth, generating 8% of the country's and almost half of the Aegean region's gross domestic product. This growth is driven by a young, dynamic population of 4 million people, half of whom are below the age of 30. Three quarters of the population actively participate in the labor force. The city offers an intellectually stimulating environment with research institutes, technology centers, and nine universities training 160,000 students of various specialties. The profusion of young and enthusiastic professionals naturally attracts innovative companies specializing in biomedicine, aerospace, and organic food. Being a commercial center for manufacturing and agriculture, the city continuously exports agro-industry products, machinery, mechanical appliances, iron, steel, foodstuffs, and textiles. Izmir is known around the world for its locally produced figs, grapes, olives, high-quality olive oil, and cotton. The largest industrial zone in the country is situated in Izmir, comprised of two free trade zones. These include the world's number one export processing zone, generating $4 billion annually in manufacturing and trade. Izmir's ports handle 26% of Turkey's exports and 20% of its imports by sea. The completion of the North Aegean Chandarla port, which will support Asancak port, will make it one of the 10 biggest ports in the world. The city is well known for its business-friendly environment. Sustained by the highly qualified and disciplined workforce, over 1,500 international companies and more than 4,000 export companies have established various operations within Izmir. Recent years have seen a significant rise in international investment. Multinational companies have awakened to the vast economic potential offered by Turkey, and Izmir in particular. Foreign direct investment grew 86% in just five years between 2005 and 2010. Izmir's economic potential continues to expand. Many large-scale infrastructure projects are currently underway, 
including new investments in the Adnan Menderes International Airport and the construction of a second airport to increase passenger capacity. In today's world, health is a vital concept and concerns the entire human population. It is also one of the fields the city of Izmir holds the national leadership in. The city has the highest number of beds and doctors per inhabitant of any Turkish city. There are a growing number of medical schools, science and research institutions, and trained clinicians, making the city an attractive target for health and medical investment. Izmir plans to increase the pace of its research through international partnership. The growing health and biomedical technologies cluster includes a research and development center and an academic exchange program between the leading universities around the world. With an integrated approach to well-being through healthy living and sports, Izmir promotes an active lifestyle and a balanced diet. The province offers a plentitude of outdoor activities, including windsurfing, swimming, diving, trekking, and camping, while the city itself hosts large-scale sports events, such as the Mediterranean Olympics and the University Olympic Games, Universal. Izmir is currently expanding its portfolio of sports facilities with the recent construction of a multi-purpose gym and an Olympic-sized ice skating rink. Within the city centre, there is a 40-kilometre long coastal path, including a track and cycling trail. Traditional Mediterranean cuisine is all about a well-balanced and healthy diet. Popular dishes feature fresh herbs, vegetables and fish. Olive oil forms an integral part of the culinary tradition and has been used in Mediterranean cooking for over 4,000 years. In fact, one of the oldest processing facilities in the world is located here. This gastronomical heritage has always benefited the people of Izmir with good health. Izmir is a member of the Healthy Cities Network of the World Health Organization. It embraces the strategic goals set by the organization, working closely with other members of the network to create a healthy city. This includes modernizing hospitals, building intensive care units, offering free health and dental checks in all schools, and educational activities designed for the general public. The city also organizes Health Congress, a platform for knowledge transfer and healthcare topics, and offers public courses on issues such as home care for cancer patients. The District Office of Frihisar is a certified slow city, a model for a calmer, healthier lifestyle. It meets more than 60 of the criteria set forth for the slow cities. Izmir is a leading alternative energy city. It has abundant geothermal resources and is the site for the first wind farm in Turkey. 36% of all wind energy in the country is generated here. This sector is developing rapidly and attracting foreign investment. Health is a universal, vital and timeless issue. An aspect of it can be seen in every government policy all over the world. Developed nations are facing an increasingly aging population and are looking for ways to reduce the prevalence of diseases. Other nations require management capacity as they invest and improve their health care systems. For those, quality health care can be provided much more widely and effectively through technological advancement and innovation. Epidemic diseases can be reduced through better education and faster access to quality health care through worldwide collaboration. Apart from national initiatives, international organizations such as the United Nations and World Health Organization are focusing on issues that require global solutions, like mother and child health, curing and preventing AIDS, and the eradication of polio. Without a doubt, the topic of well-being is all-encompassing and universal. Hence Izmir's theme for Expo 2020 is new routes to a better world, health for all. It includes five key elements, coming to life, harmonious and balanced living, a healthy environment, healthcare services and innovation, universal cooperation for a healthier world. With tens of millions of visitors anticipated from over 100 different countries, Expo 2020 Izmir provides an ideal platform for all aspects of a healthier life, including innovative technologies, forging partnerships, 
and sharing knowledge for all the actors in a universal sense. Izmir has always united cultures and civilizations. Now, she's committed to unite the world under one ambition. Together, we can find new routes to a better world and ensure health for all.